Alright, here I wanted to show uh, the rain barrels. We have two set up. We have this one, they're two different sizes. And so these are so convenient, so as you capture and harvest your rain, you can use that water to just water your plants, your vegetables. Um, some of your plants and vegetables require a higher acidity, and you only get that either if you um, use rainwater. And with this particular rain barrel, oh, this one has so that you can plant flowers and such up top. And so as the water comes down, it fills it into here. And then this is, as you can imagine, this is eventually going to fill out with a whole bunch of uh, water. Now if this overflows, it comes out in a hole on this side. I just want to water some of this other stuff here. And just to demonstrate. The rain barrel, you have two outlets. We kind of replaced this one. The standard, it comes with this as a standard. But I kind of went to my local hardware and just replaced with this one. This was a little bit easier to turn on and off. Um, also with this particular one, the overflow. If it happens to overflow, anything extra will come out this hole here. Like I said, this one we have, you're able to put plants in here and such and then fill this with water. As the rain inverter moves water down into this catch space, I put some rocks here just to help catch some of the rain. But it goes down into this trap. And this one, this rain diverter actually comes from uh, this downspout. So let's go look at the other one. So for this one, so what I'm showing you right now is our 90 gallon uh, rain barrel. And one thing you have to consider is if you have a big rain barrel, you may have to elevate it. And the purpose of elevating it, here I did it on cinder blocks, is if you're going to attach a hose, you got to raise it up a little bit higher to increase that water pressure so you can get that water out of the barrel through the hose to wherever you need to garden your, your plants. Uh, so that's one thing to consider. Location, do you need to elevate it? So in this case, I put mine on a couple of cinder blocks as a platform, but you can use anything that you want to raise it up. And this is just a larger version of the other one. Again, this one you put plants on top of. And aesthetically, we kind of like this stone looking textured look, but it all depends on where you're going to put it, what part of the house you're going to put it, the location, aesthetically, design, how do you want it to look. And then also in my case, the or maybe your case, how do you want to raise up that platform? Do you want to use cinder blocks? Do you want to use wood? So those are some of the things you have to consider. Location, cost, design, capacity. Um, so I have this larger one. Which I think is a 90 gallon. I'll yeah, put the more details in and links to all of these below. And again, so, but even with those, there's a ton of rain that comes off the roof, that comes down, and this is filled within probably minutes of a good downpour. And so then we take these uh, water and then we go water our blueberries, we water our vegetables. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut cut this and raise raises down this uh, elbow downspout above here, so that the water, the rain barrel, can be filled up at the top side. Here is the Project Source Hacksaw. It's only a few bucks from Lowe's. Gets the job done for doing a quick job. It's like seven, eight bucks. So 
I'm going to use it to pack uh, the downspout.
folks I hope you enjoy the videos and what to consider if you want to get a rain barrel and also um, if you're thinking about getting a rain diverter as well as always please subscribe like share and um, share your common feedback below I'd like to hear if you're using a rain barrel as always happy growing stay safe stay healthy and we'll speak soon